1. Zikr. Zikr refers to the remembrance of Allah Almighty. On contrary to the regular prayers, Zikr is not time specific, rather one can do it anytime and anywhere one finds time to do so. Moreover, when it comes to Zikr, there are numerous types of Zikr prescribed in Islam and each and every one of them carries a different significance and specialty. Some of the most rewarding Zikrs which a Muslim must try doing during the fasting in Ramadan. Prophet, P.E.B. upon him, said. Whoever enters a market and says, Translation, there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, alone without partner, to him belongs dominion and praise, he causes life and death and he is the living and does not die, in his hand is all the good, and he is over all things competent. Allah will write for him or her a million good deeds and erase a million bad deeds and raise him a million levels. Hadith it is clear that reciting this particular seeker helps write million good deeds and at the same time remove million bad deeds that also come with a raise in million levels of spirituality. Therefore, if a Muslim wishes to earn huge reward by performing a simple seeker then this is the seeker one must recite throughout the month of Ramadan, some other seeker that can offer great reward which makes them an ideal fit for the month of Ramadan or Obligatory prayers. Ramadan or no Ramadan. The importance and significance of the obligatory prayers stands apart from all the additional deeds of virtue that a Muslim does. Therefore, during Ramadan, it becomes imperative that a Muslim offers the obligatory prayer with more regularity and better spirit and zest. Regarding obligatory prayers, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said in his hadith. And whoever performs an obligatory act during it, Ramadan, he is like whoever performs 70 obligatory acts in other times. Sahih ibn Kuzaima. From this hadith, the gravity of the offering of obligatory prayers along with other obligatory acts in Ramadan becomes clear. Therefore, if a Muslim offers the obligatory prayers regularly during Ramadan, they are sufficient to earn huge reward compared to ordinary days. In addition to the performing the regular obligatory prayer, to Hajjud is the prayer that also comes with great reward. Moreover, the benefits of it are also mentioned in the deep in which Prophet, peace be upon him, said. The best fast after the fast of Ramadan is the fast of Muharram and the best psalm after the obligatory prayer is the prayer performed at night. Muslim from the deed it becomes clear that after the obligatory prayers, if a Muslim still wishes to go for greater reward, then the best option available is the Tehajju prayer. Therefore, any Muslim who offers the obligatory prayers regularly should opt for offering Tehajju prayer regularly as well, especially in the month of Ramadan. 3. Being Charitable Besides the prayers and different kinds of zikr, being charitable and giving zakat is another deed that offers huge reward during the month of Ramadan. Pertaining to charity in the month of Ramadan, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said. The best charity is that given in Ramadan. Tiramidhi. Therefore, whether a Muslim wants to have the sins forgiven, earn greater reward and purify the wealth he or she has at present and increase it by receiving Baraka from Allah Almighty, then the best option in this regard is to be as charitable as possible in the month of Ramadan. Hence, if any of your intended charity is pending, then the best way and time to offer it is in the month of Ramadan. 4. Provide for breaking fast of a person. Providing food for the opening of fast of a fasting person is another deed that can help earn humongous reward. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said in this regard. Whoever provides food for breaking of the fast for a fasting person receives the reward of the fasting person, without the reward of fasting person being reduced in any way. Tiramidhi. From this hadith it is clear that providing food for a fasting person to break the fast is a win situation in which the one who offers food receives the reward of the fasting person, whereas the one who is invited for the dinner keeps the reward to him or herself as well. Therefore, in order to get maximum reward possible, you can invite multiple people at an iftar party and earn blessings and rewards beyond count, 
5. Offering Sahar and Asha prayer in congregation. Once a group of companions came to Prophet Muhammad PBUH and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, the wealthy people will have higher grades in, will have permanent enjoyment and they pray like us and fast as we do. They have more money, which they give in charity. The Prophet PBUH replied, Has Allah not rendered for you the Asia prayer in congregation equal to Hajj, and the Fajr prayer in congregation equal to Umrah, Muslim, the significance of standing at night offering regular Asia prayer along with Tarawih prayer cannot be overlooked. It is the best even a Muslims can perform in order to seek the blessings of Allah. Therefore, if you as a Muslim wish to earn reward equivalent to Hajj, and Umrah, then the best and simplest way of doing so would be to offer Fajr and Asha prayer with congregation in Ramadan. This way, the reward associated with an obligatory prayer will rise to the level of Hajj and Umrah. 6. Observing Adhikaf Observing Adhikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan is one of the most renowned sunnahs of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, pertinent to the month of Ramadan. Regarding the reward associated with observance of Adhikaf in Ramadan, Prophet Muhammad PBUH said in his hadith, he who observes the 10 days Adhikaf during Ramadan will obtain the reward of two Hajj and two Umrah. Bayhaki. Therefore, observing Adhikaf is an excellent option for those who can't afford to go on Umrah or Hajj. By observing it, they not only earn the reward of Hajj and Umrah, but the reward is doubled as well. 7. Praying on Laylatul Qadar, another marvel of the month of Ramadan that is the best option for earning greatest possible reward is the praying on the night of Laylatul Qadar. It is the night that resides in the odd nights of the last 10 days of Ramadan and any prayer made in this night is far and above the reward of the prayers made in any other night throughout the year. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said regarding Laylatul Qadar in the following way, whosoever worshipped on Laylatul Qadar with faith and with a sincere intention, all of his previous sins are forgiven. Bukhari, therefore, to earn humongous reward, a Muslim must try finding this blessed night and offer as much prayers as possible in this night. 8. Exhibiting good manners Perhaps no other religion emphasizes on mannerism the way Islam does. In Islam, having good manners is one of the best virtuous deeds pertaining to having good manners. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said in his hadith, there is none heavier in the scales of the hereafter than good character. Termiti, therefore, in order to send something that weighs the highest in the world hereafter, the best thing to do is to be good in manners and incorporate those attributes in your personality that offer good to all those who come in contact with you. 9. Reciting different surahs of Quran, although each word of Quran carries its reward, which in the month of Ramadan gets multiplied many times. However, there are different surahs of Quran that offer greater reward and better benefits compared to other surahs. Intermediate following are a few of the seers mentioned that carry heavy reward. Surah Zilzila brings reward equal to half the Quran Surah al kafir and brings a reward equal to a quarter of Quran Surah Iqlas carries reward equal to recitation of one third of Quran. Therefore, during Ramadan, in addition to reading whole of the Quran, these surahs should be recited with more emphasis. These surahs are included in the Last 20 zeros of Holy Quran application that you can install in your smartphone to repeatedly recite and read even on the go. 10. Prepare for Eid and prayers while you are strongly suggested to keep yourself busy in finding the Layla Tul Kadar in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Do not overlook to get prepared for the Eid al Fitr. Do special preparations to enjoy and rejoice this best of event that all are gifted to Muslims in reward of keeping fast in the whole month of Ramadan. In addition, on the day of Eid, do not forget to offer Eid prayers as well. Ibn Raja Ra narrated that the companion Nuth Ibn Sulaim Ra said, the reward for attending Eid 
Al-Fitr prayer is equal to the reward of performing Umrah and the reward for attending Eid. Al-Adha prayer is equal to that of performing Hajj. Therefore, in order to earn reward, equivalent to the reward of Umrah, a Muslim must offer the Eid al-Fitr prayer at the end of the month of Ramadan to ensure that the auspicious occasion is celebrated with the name of Allah Almighty.